Yeah. Uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah. Uh, Renda guys, I'm very very much happy um, to have you on board. It's always my pleasure. Now today we are going to talk about the Python uh, iterators. But uh, before we start, I want to make this simple request. Please, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please take a second, subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. And to the returning subscribers, I really appreciate you very, very much. And then again, you can as well join this channel membership so that you may have access to the exclusive packs. Uh, and then again, you can also have, you will also have access to the source codes both front end and uh, the back end uh, also including the pre-activated softwares uh, in this channel now uh, guys uh, without much ado let me begin straight away i said that uh, we are going to talk about the python iterators now uh, let's understand what is an iterator basically guys an iterator is an object that uh, contains a countable number of values so uh, an iterator is an object that uh, cannot be treated upon uh, meaning that uh, you can traverse through all the values and then uh, there's a technically in python an iterator is an object which uh, implement the iterator protocol uh, which consists of the iter and uh, the next uh, methods uh, so guys uh, let's understand the iterator and uh, the iterable now the list tuples dictionaries and uh, the sets they are all uh, iterable objects they are iterable containers which you can get an iterator from now all these objects have the iter method which are you uh, is used to get an it uh, you know uh, an iterator and then uh, there's a uh, perhaps let me write here an example for you to uh, understand these things very well let me zoom in now guys i want us to have this example here uh, so guys uh, let me write here an example and uh, basically i want us to return an iterator from a tuple and uh, print uh, each value so basically first of all let me create here a tuple so uh, let me give it this variable name like uh, let me say my tuple my tuple and then uh, let me assign it to this tuple basically a tuple is defined using these uh, uh these uh you know rounded brackets and then uh, here i'm gonna say uh let me give it the fruits uh, the fruits actually so let me say apple apple and then uh, the second one perhaps let me give it what let me give it a uh, mango mango and then uh, the third one let me give it what banana banana so basically guys uh, this is our tuple and then uh, now i want us to create what this item i say that uh, all the objects have the item method which is used to get an iterator so now i want us to create here an, an item of which we are going to use to get what an iterator so basically let me say uh, my 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 it uh, basically this is the second variable name then uh, let me assign it to this item uh item item then uh, uh sorry so let me just say uh ita let me just write it manually let me say ita ita and then uh guys uh let me create what let me uh give it my tuple this variable name which was my tuple and then uh, guys uh what i do let me now uh, say um let me now print each value i say that uh, i'm gonna return what each value and that basically is gonna give us the uh, the values of those fruits each value and then uh, let me say print let me say print uh, uh next next and then um in this next i'm gonna write my my it and uh, big guys i remember there are three items uh, so i'm gonna write what i'm gonna write three uh items here so let me just uh paste it there again also let me just paste it there so guys are uh, now uh, to do what to uh, guys are uh, to do what to run this uh, stuff you're going to click on this icon basically there are so many ways to run it you can see the shortcut there to run is shift plus 15 however you can as well click on this run button uh, run in tab then uh, you can find the shortcut there which is shift plus 15 but then i uh, did the uh, right it is the shortcut shift plus 15 so when you click on the shift plus uh, F10 and then uh, guys we are going to have what we are going to have uh, you know these uh, tuples these tuples here and then I uh, guess uh, also uh, even things you know they are the iterable objects in that can return an iterator so basically guys these are the iterators here at the end here at the terminal now guys I want us to use a string I want us to use a string and uh, for example 
uh, guys, I want us to have a thing here so that uh, you can bring us the iterable object containing a sequence of characters. So basically, let me say, uh, let me clear everything so perhaps uh, for someone to understand, and then uh, let me say my uh, my my string my string. Let me give it my string. Uh, this to be the variable name. Then at uh, the string, I'm gonna give it. Let me give it my brand, which is a name tag. Name tag. Name tag. Okay, it is name tag. Name tag. Name tag. Basically, this uh, this a uh, string here. And then I uh, guess uh, let me give it this my my it uh, my it my it return. Then uh, let me assign it to the item item. And then uh, let me say what. Let me give it my string my string this variable name. And then I uh, guess uh, remember there are how many items? Uh, there are. Let me just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. I think there are eight items here, characters here. So I'm gonna say my. Uh, sorry. So, so let me say print. Remember the print function is used to execute these uh, codes in the terminal. So let me say next. And then uh, let me give it what it was my. Uh, my it my it and then I uh, guess I uh, remember there are eight items so let me just paste at times eight so let me just copy first of all and then I uh, do it let me just uh, paste this is three four five six seven eight nine now guys at run you remember the shortcut shift plus what shift plus uh, f10 shift plus uh, f10 sorry uh, shift plus F10. Then I guess you can see here that at the terminal we have these, uh, you know, uh, this uh, what these iterators. You can see that we have name tag just just uh, you know uh, printed what and this sequence of characters of which they are the iterable. So basically, guys, you understand that uh, even strings are the they are the iterable object. Now, guys, I want us to talk about looping through an iterator. So, guys, uh, basically, you can as, you can also use the for loop to iterate through an iterable object. And, uh, guys, uh, perhaps I want us to have an example here to iterate the values of a tuple. So, uh, let me clear everything first of all, and then uh, let me say uh, let me say let me just use a tuple. Let me say my tuple, uh, my tuple. And then uh, let me assign it to this tuple here, and then uh, a tuple is defined using these uh, I know uh, rounded brackets. Then uh, let me give it fruits. I like using the fruits. I uh, like using the fruits. Then at uh, the second one, let me give it banana. And then uh, the third one, perhaps let me give it what? Let me give it um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, cherry. Mm -hmm. Cherry. Cherry. Then, uh, guys, uh, what I do, uh, I want us to have, you know, to iterate uh, the values of a tuple, and then I'm gonna use what I'm gonna use the for loop to iterate through this uh, iterable object of which we have uh, the fruits here. Now, let me say uh, for for what for x x in uh, for x in um, my tuple. It is my tuple. And then, uh, guys, you remember always to close with a, a colon, full colon. Then uh, we use the print function to execute the codes. Now, let me just write use what x. Now, guys, I want us to do it. Let me click on the shift plus 15. And then, uh, guys, you can see here at the terminal, uh, we have just we have iterated uh, the values of this uh, tuple here. So basically, guys, uh, this is how you can easily uh, iterate what the uh, the these are uh, these tuples the values of a tuple so guys uh, let's try also with a string so let's try with the string and then uh, let me let me just use a string here and then uh, let me just uh, write this uh, colon and then uh, let me say what name tag name tag uh, so guys uh, we have name tag here as our string and then I uh, guess I want us to I uh, want us to run this uh, stuff here in the terminal so click on the shift plus uh, F10 and then I guess you can see that uh, we have just uh, iterated what the characters of a string. Uh, so guys, uh, basically the for loop actually creates an iterator object and uh, execute the next method for e for each loop. So uh, guys, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, how to create an iterator. 
and guys that to create an, an, an object or a class as an iterator you have to implement the item in the, the next method to your object now as you as we have learned guys in the previous uh, classes uh, the you know the Python classes and objects uh, we realized that uh, all classes have the function called the INIT we talked about these stuff uh, which allows you to do some initializing when uh, the object is being uh, created and uh, guys uh, the item method you know acts uh, similar so you can do uh, operation like uh, initializing and uh, so forth but uh, guys uh, it must uh, always return the uh, iterator object itself now the next method also allows you to do the operations and I must return the uh, the next item in the in the sequence uh, basically guys uh, perhaps do I have to write the example here guys you can find it on my uh, my website I don't want to complicate uh, this task so you can uh, find uh, this uh, full course on my website let me just type in my website so the domain name is uh, basically let me say www namtech.com uh, and then I guess you uh, go to this uh, class this uh, chapter and then I guess you're going to find uh, this example there but then I don't want to go to that basically this is what I wanted to show you in this video and uh, if you find that uh, it has been of help to you please consider subscribing like and share it to your friends I really appreciate you so much for your time and until next time this is Nehemiah